I did have a, a patient, a woman who was at the point that I saw her in her middle age, had no support from her family. And although her family wanted to support her, they didn't understand what was happening to her. And even she herself had a hard time understanding exactly what was happening to her to the point where she would completely shut down when we tried to talk to her wouldn't answer us, would look away. I have to believe that a part of that is the fact that she probably was never exposed to it, was never told that it was normal. Mental health does affect the Western Muslim community for sure. It affects every community, it affects people regardless of race, religion, culture, socioeconomic status. Characteristically, you have a low mood, a depressed mood. Um, but more than that, it's an inability to find pleasure in the things that you normally would. And it also affects your day-to-day, -day, your sleep cycle, your appetite, your energy level, your concentration, um, feelings of hopelessness. People understand that something's not right when they feel depressed and they should feel um, empowered to get the help they need. Just be in tune to how you're feeling and know when something isn't right. Making sure that you are in tune with your social supports, in tune with your family support. Making sure that things are good for you at work and at school and um, tackling your everyday stressors and figuring out how you cope with them. Keeping in mind all of your gratitude and the things that make you lucky in the world is one of the most important things for not becoming bitter or jaded and keep you feeling strong in your own confidence. The practical ways that Muslims can come out of depression is that first and foremost to seek help, to not be scared, to go to your doctor, find a therapist, find someone to talk to about what you're experiencing. No one knows you better than you know yourself and that's the most important message anyone could ever learn and can take with them. The role that faith can play in coming out of depression, it reminds us that life is bigger than just one problem or one stress, and that there's always another side to things, that there's an end point, that there's a flip side. It gives people to, something to hold on to when things are sad, it gives them something familiar, it gives them a community to live in. And I think faith gives you a lot of power within yourself, the power to know what's right and wrong, to discern, to ask questions, and to know that you mean something. To a Muslim out there who is depressed, I would say that what you're feeling is not out of the ordinary. So many people feel the way that you feel. So many people want the help that you want, and it's not as far as you think it is. There is hope for you to feel well, and there is a community of people who understand and empathize with what you're going through.